Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Viss, and we return to the Long Dark, where I'm trying to get my bearings on what I was up to with coming back to uh, the maintenance shed here. Like, uh, we've got all the wolf meat and all the bear meat fully cooked and sitting up outside at the lodge. I was coming back here for... Uh, I don't think it was materials or crafting. Although maybe I... Hang on, let me check. No, I've got everything dropped out of the inventory that I probably was thinking of. Although, maybe while I'm here... Maybe I was coming here to make arrows or pick up materials for that? Again, I'm trying to remember exactly what the point coming back here was. Like, everything is pretty fine there. I don't think I need to use the forge to make anything. Uh, to do I... Maybe I'll leave this bow here. I, I could have sworn I had more arrowheads stored up somewhere. Maybe I don't. Uh, there's water there. Yeah, I can't remember why I was back here. Oh, maybe I've got the arrowheads in the actual workbench here. Let me take a quick look. Uh, not quite. Okay, well... Yeah, I guess I'll just make the one arrow while I'm here. I know I want to go back up towards the lodge. There's some of the, like, higher areas there I want to investigate. But yeah, I cannot for the life of me remember why I come, why I came down here. I don't think it's anything clothing-wise. You know, I'll have that bit of venison just so that way that's stocked up. Have a drink. I... Don't know if it's like to pick up more... Oh god, okay, I have ten arrows, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, I, for the life of me, cannot remember why I'm down here. And do I have the Travoy on me, or is that outside? Okay, that might be outside, so maybe that has something to do with why I'm here. Let me head out and just check that. But yeah, my thinking is, if I can't figure out why I'm down here... I'll take us back up to the lodge, try to ease out a little bit of the inventory weight, because we do have a lot on us. Yeah, there you are. You got anything in you? Uh, okay, I do have a lot of venison in there. Yeah, I'm afraid I just cannot remember why I was uh coming down here. I don't know if it was just do like a little bit of investigating to see what I could find. It was... Actually, I'm kind of tempted with this here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get some wood while I'm down here as well. Just because I do have that easily uh, as possible to get. There's all that there. There's also all these pallets here. I don't think I have to worry too much about the wildlife. Again... Majority of the wolves have to be taken care of by now. Yeah, that'll be the last I'll break down, and then we'll take this up to, uh, the lodge. But I guess I was just coming down to investigate and look and see what I could find in the area. Because, like, I know I still want to find a moose. I don't know how hard, well, how long it'll take before we find one. I don't think difficulties, uh... Factor, I think it's more so just like down to luck. But yeah, I'm just going to drag this back up to the lodge. Now that I have the venison in it. Actually, you know what? Just to make it easier on myself, I might as well put some extra things that are a bit more weight over there that I don't need on my person. I think that should be enough. That should... I mean, the Travoy is going to have a bit of weight to it, but... I think why we're going is... Okay, well, it's both... The wind is a factor. I guess wolves are still out here. But uh, at least I think the bear that I... That we, like, took down with the flare gun... That'll take longer to return. 
bunch of hours. Up in the mountains, there's like that far path by the lodge that I wanted to go investigate along to see. What could be out there, or if I can get lucky and find, again, a moose if we're in the region. I just thought I heard something about maybe it's just uh, me dragging the Travoy around. Okay, well, there is a wolf over to the left there. Kind of, yeah, I kind of want him to come in just so that way... I can deal with him right away. It looks like you're the only... You might be the last one in the region. And you know what? If I can get you, I'll get all the meat off you, and that'll probably be it. Oh, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I put all my self-defense tools in the Travoy. The sun's setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Okay, that's running off. Let me get those back out. Quickly get these applied. I got so much first aid crap that I actually have to use the bandage from the menu. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I should have remembered that. I want the, those never leave the inventory. Knife, hatchet, always keep on you. Even if you're not cutting wood or have carcasses to harvest, the self-defense means makes them worth the wait. God, I really am out of it for starting us off. But uh, we'll quickly get up to the lodge. See about tackling all this. I think one night's rest will get our condition back up, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about the uh, bites or the mauling we just took. And then I'll see what I can do about, again, trying to thin out the inventory weight, because I've got a lot on me, but I cannot really figure out where it all is, like, in. You know what, just in case, I mean, I doubt they'll come through that, but if the Travoy can get through, I imagine a wolf can get through, so just for, like, a little bit of extra defense. But I admit I am, I have slowed down entirely with come back to Broken Railroad. My thinking of, okay, we'll start zooming back to uh, handling the signal void stuff and getting the towers all put up in that. Yeah, I will handily admit I got completely slowed down here. I guess it's because once we can hit that level 5 cooking and we can get the carnivore meat to actually like be usable without having to try to stagger it out, that's just so advanced such a good advantage to have. I'm trying to get that as like our goal to meet. And then we'll go back out to a little more roaming and tackling signal void. Cause slowly but surely we have closed in towards like the level five for cooking. I think the skills in that bent cap out at level five. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know level five gives you the uh, parasite risk is no longer an issue. And I think it can even apply retroactively to what you've cooked. I'm not 100% sure. But at least, like with the blizzard conditions, we are well dressed so we don't have to worry about the cold. That's probably where a lot of my weight is honestly, like, occupied or set in is uh, all the clothing and gear weighs us down a lot. But I do have the deer skin stuff curing at the uh, da -da 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 -da. at the maintenance yard. Those hides are coming along slowly. It'll still be another couple of days or so, I think, before they're fully cured. I heard. Okay, you know what? I I should just focus on getting to uh, the lodge and getting us a little prep for the night. I swear, I keep hearing some stuff, like, left or right. Nothing wolf 
but I wasn't sure what it was. It could have even just been the sound of the Travoy being dragged. But there's Lodge, or what is basically home sweet home. The maintenance yard is handy, but with all of the wires and crap that's just like sitting around, I feel like it's a little too dangerous to be there. One misstep, and with how the hitboxes are for the wires as hazards, you can easily get yourself burned. And truth be told, I think I actually did burn myself on uh, one of these past episodes there. Oh. Oh, we actually managed to get that through that little gap there. Okay, you know what? Let me get all this meat out this first. Much longer. Yeah, all this I'm going to drop right at the very top here. Basically stepping over everything. Okay, there's that. We'll take the rest. Could end up being take useful. that. And head inside and see. <sighs> yeah, see, all I've got is the wolf meat, but I've got the parasite risk already. It is pretty low, but I still want to be careful and avoid that. Actually, truth be told, what I should do is refill the lantern, but I'm just going to drop down all the reclaimed wood right here, because that'll keep the fire or the stove going for yeah, it should be a pretty long time, 28 pieces. Maybe I'll save the bedroll condition just because I do have the uh I do have the beds upstairs I could use for sleeping. Okay, get a drink in, because we were pretty thirsty. Yeah, I've got to reduce that for sure. Um, everything there... Do, do, do. Okay, I've got... Oh, actually, that's kind of handy to see. For, like, we, each subsection, you see how much weight you've got on yourself. Okay, so most of the weight is in here from tools and such, so I should probably try going through and figuring that out. But I do, I didn't even notice that it gives you a little breakdown above all of your uh, inventory spaces, how much you're carrying. Or what weight is where. Uh, let's see, okay, actions. Oh, I don't have enough fuel for that. I wonder if, was that one of the reasons why I was going to the maintenance yard? I, I honestly don't know. But we're pretty tired, so I think it is for tonight. I'll just find one of the beds and get a good rest in. We like the bed on fire. Ah, uh, let's go for... Yeah, I think... You know what? We'll go for a full 12 hours. I always have a hard time trying to judge, like, okay, how longs are the night actually in the long dark? So, I think going for a full 12 hour sleep... Well, I was waking up in pitch black, so I was incorrect. Uh, well, at least we'll get the sodas out of the inventory for now. That gives us a little bit of calories and drink. And you know, let me get downstairs and we'll see about uh, getting the fires going. I should just say the stove lit up. And start cooking the venison we got. Yeah, there's three of those. Stove should be... Oh, it's off for a moment. Cooking skillet. There we go. Uh, do -do. Let's do... I could do the fire striker, but... Actually, I should check and see if I can repair that. Yeah, for now, we'll just use the wood matches in a book. That still gives us, like, close to 100% chance anyway. I should see if I could use... If I have the tools stored around somewhere, I can repair the fire striker, because that's... I think, like, the most guaranteed way to get high fire starting. There we go. That started up. Let me just find the little window through the dark here. 
And we want, I think, like 12 pieces. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I might as well take it all. And truth be told, it might be... I thought it might be Aurora Knight, because I thought I heard, like, almost the shimmer of it. Or maybe it's the tail end of it. Yeah, get that going. Get that going. Get that going. One there. One there. That's all that. I think I will just add some more fire. Or, not more fire. I want more fire, but I'll get that by adding more wood. And since I still have that book on me, we might as well do an hour of reading. As we are getting closer and closer, getting that uh, next level for the rifle. That's cooked, that's cooked, that's cooked, that's cooked, that's cooked, that's cooked. That, da 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 da, there's that. And that. I'm gonna have one of those pieces we just cooked up. Get a drink. I drop these outside and then read for the hour. And I think that'll be our venison fully cooked. And our skill. And it's still a gap to go, but it's closing in. No, actually, for as dark as it was inside, it's actually kind of bright out here. Okay, do that. And yeah, with how the day's looking, I think this is a good get outside and explore a bit day. Okay, there we go. Now it's brightening up in here. Yeah, so let's just grab that book. Research it for the hour. I don't think anything should burn. I think it's... Oh, and that's nice to see. Okay, take that, take that, take that. Feels like a lot of gear. We'll cook that last piece in there. Um, do you, I'm trying to think if there's anything special. Ah, you know what, I'll worry about cooking something special after our exploration. For now, we'll just get these pieces of meat. Um, actually, I'm thinking maybe we'll hold on to one of these pieces of meat. I'll have one of these pieces of bear meat. Yeah, I know it gives me the risk back, but it is only the 1%, so I think we shouldn't have to worry too badly about that. Okay, that. I can go for the rest there. We still got plenty of wood, so I don't have to stock that up. Ah, uh, the water. Yeah, I'll take that. Just have a little bit more on me. And now, you know what? We'll use this container and let me see about the weights again. A lot of it was in here. I'll leave those behind. I'll leave the Star Lantern behind. It is pretty low on fuel, so I won't worry about that. I can put that behind. I should remember I do have the insulated flask. I think one of the reasons I don't have it is because I don't see the flask in food and drink. So I don't realize I actually have, like, I can use that. Ah, we'll get rid of the flare... I guess I... Oh, no, there's the Distress Pistol. Um, uh, the rest? Yeah, to be honest, I feel like I want to keep that. That's not a whole lot there. Oh, I've got... Mostly managed, if I can, manage to get, uh... That Moose Hide Satchel or something... For, a little, for that, like, extra 5 kilograms carry weight, I'll be in really good shape. Because I'm just a little above the, uh... 40 kilogram weight capacity. But we're doing pretty good. I've got knife, hatchet, bedroll, firearms, bow. I should be prepared if there is anything I encounter and I need to fight it off. So, 
I've got a little bit of time, I can start making my way out to the areas I want to check. I had sort of gone to them in the last time I was playing, and like, be in the, uh, I think it was the last attempt before this run. But I didn't really have a lot of equipment to deal with the wolves, and it sounded like there was a lot more in the direction I was going. So, this time, we're very well stocked and prepared, so we shouldn't have any real issues with where we're going. I do want to keep an eye on the trees, just in case I do see any signs of possible moose in the area. I don't know how they exactly operate. I'm not sure if it's something where it's like, you'll see the rubbings on the trees, and that's kind of like your clue that one might be in the area. And then it stays around, like, I don't know if it'll only stay for like a single day that you get your chance, or it's like maybe a few days, and then it's like gone again. A little cairn there, but I don't think I'll really investigate those. Yeah, where we're heading is across the ravine that's here. And then to, uh, the back high areas. No, oh, I do see a tree there. I will harvest, though. Might as well get all the saplings we can, because we are... We haven't used the boat as much... Since we have, like, our huge surplus of ammunition, but... I think I'll actually leave that rabbit alone for now. Just because I'm not trying to get myself, uh... More stuff that'll, like, draw the wolves to us. But maybe on the return I'll try and find a rock and see if we can get ourselves a rabbit. Or... Maybe can use the bow and arrow for that. I do kind of want to try breaking one of the bows, just so that way I'm not carrying two at once. But I want to do it efficiently, if I'm going to. Okay, there is this deer carcass here. Uh, I'm not sure if it has anything left. Only a kilogram. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that behind. Might as well grab crow feathers. And I... Ah, quick check, see if there is anything in... Well, there is a body in here, so there's something we can investigate. What did you have with you? Ah, it looks like just some firewood, so you know what? It will weigh, weigh me down a bit. Ah, do, do, do. Actually, maybe what I'll do... Ah, you know what? We're not that way down. I will carry it with me. I was thinking maybe what I would do is I'd drop it over here, and then just on the return trip I can easily pick it up, but we're not too encumbered with it. So let's go up this way. Because it was through this area here where we started finding signs of, like, more of the map to explore. Do I gotta crouch under this, or... Oh, no, nope. I'm actually short enough I can just go right under. See, I'll go for a little bit longer, just try to get some extra time in, and then that way next episode we are basically... Well, it's a bit colder than I expected, but maybe that's just because it is morning still. But get us towards like where some new stuff is I haven't been exploring and roaming at yet. I don't know if I will encounter any wolves or that along this stretch, but maybe just to get some more practice with the... Uh, archery stuff and work that skill up more. I'll be ready with this. Like, I think when I was around here, the only thing I came across might have been a deer in this little stretch. But it's past this point and across the bridge where I think I was starting to hear howls and that. Oh, more saplings to snag. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think that's a cave. I think that's just like a little nook in the cliffs there. And if I did need a place out of the wind, I could probably hole up there. Oh, no, I'm... Oh, I was reading the wrong temp... Uh, wrong gauge. I thought we were, like, it was kind of cold out. No, that's my fatigue. I, I don't know what it is. 
I guess I'm just like completely thrown off today. Just one of those days. But hopefully with this first episode out of the way, I'll be a little bit more warmed up for... Ah, uh, not that. Get that out. Well, truth be told, I kind of wish that the Long Dark would give you a... Actually, I wonder if that's even a thing, is you could just, like, bind certain tools or equipment to your hotkeys. So, like, I know if you press 2, that'll take out a weapon. You have you can press that to keep cycling through it. Okay, I know it's not something where it's like... Oh, actually, yeah, maybe I should load that just in case. I'm not expecting to be using that, because I feel like having the flare gun be that powerful does feel a bit weird with how the rest of the Long Dark is. But yeah, it's across this bridge I didn't really get too far because of howls and sounds like that. So looks like there's another ravaged deer carcass there. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of mapping. It's something I've not really done because I know the layout of this region pretty well. Or, well, at least where I've been already. Oh, yeah, look up. Okay, what are these little bushes? Okay, ptarmigan and rabbits were here. Um, I'm not sure if I remember seeing these before. Oh, burdock root. I think this is another new uh, addition from the latest update for, like, far territories. Because I think you can make a tea out of them. Yeah, antibiotic tea. I will snag them. I'm not planning on getting, uh, needing them for their antibiotic use, but... I'll just grab the two and leave the one. And then, yeah, over, basically past that way, I haven't explored yet, so that'll be interesting to take a look at. Snag that. Uh, might as well snag these. Truth be told, if I can't get enough old man's beard lichen, I'll probably want to stop picking up antiseptic bottles. Just because I don't need their full weight with me. Some crow feathers. Yeah, I was hoping maybe I'd find an arrow or something in you, but... Okay, and this is back... Yeah, you know, actually, this gives me a good chance if I just want to take a look and see where... I'd spotted the moose the other time. It was just, I think, right down there, kind of where the rabbit is. That doesn't seem like there's anything this time. Okay. I think that's a pretty good spot. We'll just get ourselves lined up to keep exploring uh, further along here and bring this episode to a close. Just a pretty calm, quiet one. I do think... I don't know if I will stick hard with the Long Dark on the channel for, uh, like, series going forward. There might be a small group that does quite enjoy them and seeing it uploaded, but I gotta admit, I'm kind of at a point where we are thriving now. So yeah, we'll... Actually, I think these trees... Well, I mean, truthfully, I haven't really been to this... Nope. Oh god, this is where I go through every... There's what I'm looking for. There we go. Just managed to get it out. Okay. Yeah, so I'll probably... Oh, I'm... maybe I should put down the Travoy and see about harvesting him. I just want to make sure I grab our arrow. So I wasn't sure if I would have been able to get the second one out in time. But it's nice to see that taken care of. Yeah, you know what? That's what I might do. Let... Okay, you know what? I'll handle that next episode because, again, I don't want this to go too long. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of The Long Dark. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video or episode, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.